Hello everyone, welcome to Bottom Science. So today we are going to learn how we can plot 3D plots in Python. For example, a sphere or a sheet in the 3D. So uh, we are going to use mesh grid function of NumPy here and matplotlib library. Before jumping to the program, we should understand this mesh grid function because sometimes it is harder to understand it initially for beginners. So we should crack this down before we jump to the program. So mesh grid function is nothing but it is a function which is available in NumPy library, which helps us to create a rectangular grid from two one dimensional arrays. So let's try to understand this function a little bit more in detail. So what is happening here is if you have two arrays, for example, X and Y. So after mesh grid function, what you get is a mesh, which is a two dimensional array, you can say. So uh, this is the mesh grid function, which is uh, helping you to get a complete mesh, which is nothing but the combination of X and Y elements. That is these elements and these elements. So let's try to understand this function a little bit more in detail. So for example, if you have a one dimensional array, which is nothing but 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is uh, created from a range function of the NumPy, then what happens to the this uh, one dimensional array you can see here. So what happening is that X is going into mesh grid and mesh grid is giving you a new version of x which is nothing but a two dimensional grid so how this is happening is zero is replicated to all the rows you can see all everywhere in this first column that is only zero and similarly it is happening to one and two and so on so as you can see that this is a very powerful function which is providing you a two dimensional array from one dimensional array and it is important to see that we have the shape of 5 cross 10 that is 5 rows and 10 columns here. If you want to see that what is happening to y then you can see that similar thing is happening to y also but in a different way. So for example if you check this y which is nothing but one dimensional array from 0 to 9 because 10 is also not included here. So you can see that this 0 is replicated so after this y goes to this mesh grid function then new y comes out as this so every element is replicated to the row so this is the mesh grid function and uh, if you see that also the shape of y is also 5 cross 10 so this is uh, what which is helping you to create a grid because both the matrix have the same dimensions so the same shape of the both matrix will is helping us to create a grid. And finally, you can see that combining these two matrices will provide you a grid, which is nothing but the combination of every element of each of them. So this is the mesh grid function. Let's come to the code now. Now we have to see that how we can use this mesh grid function and matplotlib library to plot our 3D elements. So Let's start with the importing library first. Now we have to create a figure using matplotlib. And then we add 3D projection to this figure using ax variable. Let's create two dimensional arrays that is x and y. And now we will use our mesh grid function. After this, you can use any of your favorite equation you want to plot. So for example, I'm using Z is equals to under root X square plus Y square. So this is nothing but the equation you want to plot into 3D. And we have to define 3D surface now using ax dot plot surface underscore surface. 
So this is your plot which is going to be shown in the graph. So let's try to see how it is looking. So as you can see that your 3D curve is drawn here, 3D surface using mesh grid function. You can see that grid points are available in your 3D plot here. So I hope you have understood this uh, uh, function mesh grid, which is very powerful function and this program. And another thing I want to add is this is our Python playlist uh, where we are adding Python programs. So if you never check this playlist, then go and please check how we have plotted 2D vectors, 3D vectors and trigonometric functions. So I hope you have understood this tutorial and if you still have any doubt, then you can post it as a comment and we will try to answer it. So thanks for watching it. Have a nice day.